Hi everyone and welcome to Coconut TV. Here we are yet again on another video, How to Succeed. This is How to Succeed Part 2. And Part 1, last week we were talking about trust and trusting our inner voice, our divine voice, which is Holy Spirit. And this week I'm going to be talking about another element that's vital and important, and that's forgiveness. And for new course students, um, forgiveness is not your typical forgiveness that the world talks about, which is, I forgive you because I want to be the better person, or I forgive you because I'm spiritual and you're not spiritual, or that type of forgiveness. I'm not speaking about that type of forgiveness. I'm talking about Course of Miracles type of forgiveness, which is changing your thoughts from fear to love, asking Holy Spirit for a different, different interpretation of the situation, and I love the way Pathways of Light describes forgiveness. And I'm going to read to you a few things that um, they share with us. Which is, forgiveness is a thought reversal, a shift of perception. Which is what I shared at the beginning. Forgiveness is being willing to receive instruction. A correction in the way we are looking at things. So the way to look at things, through the filter of love or through fear. We can choose that. And that is what is forgiveness. It is becoming willing to receive a reinterpretation or change in the way we are looking at the world. So I feel that one of the important steps in, within forgiveness is to be willing. Willing to forgive. And when I mean willing to forgive, it's just willing to let go of that baggage. Aren't we exhausted from holding on to that resentment or anger or judgment? It's just, it's literally exhausting. So I feel that it's so vital to just be willing to let go of that madness, to let go of that hurt, and to choose again, to choose love again, to choose Holy Spirit, to choose, to choose freedom and joy. And so I'm going to share with you this week three different steps you can do in regards to forgiveness which if you practice them, you will definitely feel more joy and more peace. And your relationship with yourself will change. You will definitely feel better. But not only that, your relationship with the world, your relationship with people and situations will also shift because of this um, practice. And uh, these are the three steps that I got also from Pathways of Light, which I found very, very helpful in my spiritual path, which is number one is to take an honest look at how you are perceiving someone who upsets you. So really take a look. So step back and pause for a second and look at the way you're feeling and how you're judging that person or situation and bring your full awareness to the present moment. And just search your thoughts for, search your mind for loving thoughts that you're having because that's, you're becoming aware. That means that you're not going to be guided by automatic pilot and go into that fear. You're actually stopping yourself, which is something that Gary Renard shares too on pausing. Then second is to realize that the guilt you see in another is not the truth about them. So what's great about that is to be willing to start again, to be willing to start like with a fresh canvas and to really see nothingness because in reality, they really didn't do anything. If you're a course student, you understand what I'm saying. That would be a whole nother video. And ask to be shown something beyond. So at that moment, just stop, stop for a second and just ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, let me have your interpretation of this. Holy Spirit, let me see this differently. Let me see this through your eyes. I choose again. And that is so powerful because you're just letting go and you're doing step one there. You're trusting. You're just trusting that Holy Spirit got your back. The third step is to just trust and know that Holy Spirit is going to show you another way. And the third step, you don't need to do anything because the Holy Spirit is going to take care of that. So the first two steps with it forgiveness is vital, which is one is to be willing, to be willing to see it differently, to catch yourself, to understand that the way you're feeling and to understand the situation, right, um, that you're in. Step two is to ask for help. Ask the Holy Spirit to see that situation or person differently. And then step three is to let it go and to give it to Holy Spirit and ask for a miracle. Say, Holy Spirit, I pray for a miracle. I am willing to not suffer anymore in this grievance. And I am willing to let go of all this caca, you know, that I've been holding on for so long, right? We're so ready to let it go. At least I'm willing to let it go, right? 
and just be free and live in that bliss that God wants for us because God doesn't want us to suffer anymore with all that stuff with all those nut thoughts all that nut chatter it's time to just let go right so I leave you with this beautiful quote from A Course in Miracles which I love and it, it says something like this which is the only thing that should be remembered from the past is the love that you gave and the love that you received and all else is an illusion and all else is not real so that's all that needs to be remembered is the love that you gave and the love that you received in the past all else okay bye hasta la vista baby all right well this week's affirmation is i forgive easily and effortlessly all right everyone have a blessed week filled with love y mucho mucho amor till next time